So the trial is a bit of sleight of hand. I wanted to put our heroes in it because they were the avenue through which we had come to understand this event. And the fact is that Legasov and many other venues had choices to confront the system and ultimately did. I really felt that this trial cannot be a traditional filmed trial. In America, for instance, trials are quite different because in America you are trying to sell an idea to 12 laymen, whereas in Europe you're always facing a panel of experts, so there's no smoke and mirrors you can use. You can't try to sell your side of it to the experts. It began with, of all things, a safety test. It was a very interesting acting exercise to actually doing the trial because as a storyteller, when you watch so many trial scenes in films and movies, and they're all leading to the point of conviction. And actually, this is a complete show trial where it's a foregone conclusion. And we, as the expert witnesses, have a secret agenda. Comrade Legasov. To me, what makes this thing interesting is Legasso and his dilemma is what infuses the whole thing. The fact that I'm here as an expert withholding, you know, the real deal with it, which was a manufacturing flaw in the whole thing. And he's not a natural speaker. He's not somebody who sways a room or anything like that. It would appear we, we have a vicious cycle on our hands. And we would were it not for this. He's like nervously fumbling himself to get to the end whilst deciding whether he should spill the beans or not. <laughs> we sort of played with the idea that it was always on a knife edge because three years, is, if that's all you've got left, that's eternity. As opposed to, I'm going to stand up in this court and I'm going to tell them the truth and they're going to take me out and they're going to shoot me right there.